talk to you for a, uh, from a subject today, uh, so you can tag this text today with these words. The bread which comes down from heaven. The bread which comes down from heaven. You know, Jesus was, was always saying stuff that got him into trouble. He was a teacher extraordinaire. He was a man who, who spoke the truth and didn't bite his tongue. He called unto himself twig, 12 ragtag guys, uh, most of them not professionals, blue-collar workers, fishermen, not highly educated men, tax collectors, uh, even people that some would feel were of not of the best reputation. But he called them unto himself. These 12 men uh, were men that he had identified as men who were sent to him by his father. And the more he taught, the more he taught, the more he said, the more he uh, went about doing the business of his father, the more trouble he got into with the religious establishment. Religious people are funny people. They, they uh, believe what they believe, even if they don't know what they believe. Say that one more time, Norris. Religious people are funny people. They believe what they believe, even if they don't know what they believe. And sometimes what they believe, even though they don't know what they believe, they are so passionate about it, They'll kill somebody. They'll hurt somebody over it. And the religious establishment of Jesus' day, of the first century, were, were that type of people. They, they, they were religious and educated. See, a man with a little education is dangerous. Because for the most part, he thinks he knows. Yeah, he does. <laughs> And, and you really, no matter how long you live, you can't know everything. I mean, there's always somebody somewhere that knows more than you. And let's just be realistic. I don't care how awesome you are, there's always somebody more awesome than you. Just keep on living. They might not even be born yet. But sooner or later, somebody is going to take your place. Somebody's going to break your record. Somebody's going to do it a little better than you. Somebody's going to know a little more than you know. The only man that ever lived who didn't really, really have to worry about that was Jesus. And y'all know why. Uh, look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I know why. So you're tripping now because you, you, do you really know why? That's right. Just be obedient and do what I say. Amen. <laughs> Because he was God. Because he was God. Tell your, tell your neighbor, if you didn't know, it's because he was God. See, now you just did something that a whole lot of people don't know how to do. They gave props to the Lord. A whole lot of people don't really want to say and give credit where credit is due. And, and in your life, I'm, I'm sure you've experienced this, there's some folk who, no matter what you do, they ain't going to never say that you really did what you did. There's some folk that don't want to see you succeed, don't want to see you prosper, don't want to see you uh, ahead, don't want to see you really get to where you have declared you're supposed to be because they know that if you get there, you'll probably be ahead of them. And, and the problem with the religious establishment was this. Jesus was preaching the word, raw, raw word. And people were being drawn to him and drawn away from them. So they felt like, even though he, you know, he was a carpenter, he was not educated like them, uh, they felt that he was a threat to the status quo. He was a threat to the establishment. And so Jesus was really, we got to get rid of him, regardless of what he says, regardless of what he does. We got to get rid of him. So they did everything they could to 
compromise, to jeopardize, to try to sabotage the work of Jesus. And sometimes, watch this, Jesus didn't help. Jesus said stuff that got him into trouble. Jesus did stuff that got him into trouble. Let me tell you something. Anytime you start living for God, you're going to get into trouble. Wow, Norris. That's a revelation. Anytime you live, if you, ain't, if you have not got into trouble because you have stood on the truth and stood on what was right and tried to glorify God and take a stand in the place where God told you to stand, if you have not, if you have not felt, some, felt some pressure, Maybe you ain't really standing like you think you are. Because anytime you do what God has told you to do, you're going to run into some opposition. Anytime, anytime. Folk don't want you to tell them the truth. Folk don't want to know the truth. I want you to get that in your spirit. Folk don't want to know the truth. Get that in your spirit. Folk don't want you to tell them the truth. Even if you love them, it takes a big man, a big woman, to be able to accept the truth. I know somebody told you you look good. But the reality is you need some work. And, and the one that told you that, they probably love you, amen. Amen. But the reality is, you looked in the mirror. Stop playing. And when you can face the reality that I'm not all, you, you got to stop believing the hype. I know that boy whispered in your ear and told you you the finest thing walking. You ain't. But he'll tell you whatever he needs you to tell you to get what he wants to get. And a whole lot of them, they just doing what comes naturally. So you can't hold it against them. They dogs and they just being dogs. Can I get some help in here? They're sinners and they're just being sinners. And don't you get mad because you succumb to it. Because you believed the lie. Then when your belly's sticking out, help me, Holy Ghost. And they done went on to the next conquest. And you're left to deal with your truth. See, the truth of the matter was that you was all right. But you were, for them, at that moment, what they needed you to be. And I don't want to be... For you, something that is going to satisfy you just for a moment. Oh, I wish somebody could give God some glory right there. No, let's just be real, y'all. If you want the milk, you better buy the cow, baby. This milk here is not free milk. This milk costs some money. Oh, y'all tripping on me this morning. <laughs> this expensive milk. This is wonderful milk, grade A homogenized milk. Hallelujah. You drink some of this milk, you will live forever. Hallelujah to the king. Thank you, Jesus. And once you taste this milk, you won't need any other milk. Because it's good. I wish somebody could just pray with me for a moment. And so we've got to get to the place where we understand that folk will tell us what we want to hear. On a diet. You know, I've been on a diet. I've been on a diet for, for the last five months. I ain't lost a pound. I done gained about nine. You know why? Because I ain't, I ain't committed. The devil is a liar. If I want a cookie at 12 o'clock, I'm going to eat a cookie. That's right. That's right. I got on the scale the uh, yesterday, day before yesterday. Because I ain't been on the scale in about three weeks. And I'm going to see if I had lost any weight. I done gained five pounds. Hallelujah. 
and folk will see you out. Because all your clothes don't fit the same. Can I get a witness here? Folk will see you out. Oh, you look so thin. I say, the devil is a liar. Stop lying to me. I saw somebody the other day. That, you know what they had heard them say to me? With your skinny self. I said, who are you talking to? But the devil will want you to believe the lie. Regardless of how, you know, it ain't, ain't a big thing. It's not serious. But you got to get to the place to where you want to hear the truth. And with Jesus, y'all, Jesus told the truth. You know why? Because he was true. He wasn't trying to be something that he wasn't. I am the way, the truth, and the life. It was part of his character. It was part of who he was. He had to tell the truth. And so sometimes, even as he went along, he offended people because people couldn't handle what he was saying. Over and over again, he would say stuff. You know, he got to the place where he went in the temple, y'all, and he saw what they were doing in church. And he was so upset, he started turning over tables. My, house, my father's house is not a den of thieves. It is a house of prayer. And, and, and Jesus went on to upset and offend the religious establishment because his words were more powerful than theirs. Let, let me tell you something. When you love somebody, when you really love them, you ain't going to keep lying to them. You ain't going to keep lying to them. A friend of mine told me the other day that, that, that in, in their church, there was a lady in the church young woman she was about 35 years old the woman had been overweight obese for all of her adult life and the doctor said to her if you don't lose weight you're going to die and she, they kept on telling her they kept on telling her she kept on eating when they buried her her uncle got up and said to the congregation my niece dug her own grave with a spoon and a fork. Tell me the truth. And then help me to do what you're telling me. Even if it, 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 it makes me feel uncomfortable. Even if it, it's to the place to where I'm offended in it. Folk don't want to hear the truth. They don't want you to offend them. They don't want you to tell them that what you're doing is going to kill you. You know, this is a whole new day. Let me just be honest with you. What we did in my generation, this generation can't get away with. How are you going to have unprotected sex today? I mean, you ain't got no business having sex anywhere if you ain't married. But how are you going to be laying up with every, he looks clean? He looks clean? He's pretty? Did you hear on the news the other day, this man is spreading hepatitis C. He looks clean. Last year, there was a man that was giving, he was giving people HIV. He looks so nice. Let me tell you something. HIV ain't the only disease you get and you ain't going to never get rid of. There are some other diseases out there you get. Tell, tell your neighbor, herpes ain't going away either. Help me, Holy Ghost. Sexually transmitted disease. You ain't got, you know what? And we don't want to believe the Bible. We think we come to church and we don't want to hear all that. Where you going to hear that? The world ain't going to tell you the truth. Tell your neighbor, a condom will break. Oh, I know I'm getting too much, y'all. I'm too much for you. I'm too much. Especially if you use it three or four times. Yeah, I know it. I know it. You heard what I said. Go on, say it with your nasty self. And then you're going to walk up in church acting like you don't know why you're pregnant. Or act like you don't know why you're sick. You got to get shots in your behind because you're sick. And it ain't the flu. Can I get a witness in? 